There are a lot of reasons to be excited as a Minnesota Vikings fan. There's a lot of great things going on with the team. I think Kevin O'Connell is going to bring in a fresh, a fresh, a lemon fresh perspective for this team. It's going to be really exciting. Kwesi Dofamensa also adding another different element to this team as well. But I think the biggest thing that I think a lot of people are missing out on is through no fault of their own. I think that the Vikings will have the top or at least uh, have a top notch interior pressure uh, presence in the NFL. When we talk about, especially how some of these guys like Armand Watts stepped up, when we talk about Jalen Twyman, who's coming off of literally being shot uh, this last offseason. So, you know, there's a lot of different things going on with this offensive, uh, you know, obviously this offense, excuse me, uh, you know, Kirk Cousins, you know, it's going to be special. I feel like it's really going to take a step this year, but nobody's talking about the interior pressure that the Vikings will bring. You know, obviously you got guys like Harrison Phillips who will probably start at that defensive tackle position or that nose tackle position, excuse me. But overall, you got to be really excited about how the rest of this, you know, the, this entire defensive line will look. We already mentioned Armand Watsu. Might have been the, the biggest surprise from last year. What do you have? Like something like five sacks. Really got after it um, on that interior defensive line. So had your five techs, you're probably looking at uh, potentially a guy like Delvin Tomlinson or Harrison Phillips. Uh, you know, honestly... At nose, I really feel like it should be a guy like Harrison Phillips, and then you got Delvin Tomlinson and Jalen Twyman uh, as guys that will be in uh, in the mix there. Uh, you know, I know uh, also Armand Watts probably is going to play a little bit of nose, probably going to play a little bit of five tech. Janarius Robinson. You know, we're not even talking about necessarily the you know Daniel Hunter and Zadari Smith, the outside guys. We're talking about the interior guys, the guys that are going to take it up uh, and create pressure. You know, I in a three four specifically, you know, you have to do a lot of dirty work. You have to be able to take up double teams uh, and, and put teams on their heels and so I, th I think that's what a lot of these guys are going to be able to do James Lynch another guy that I think really played well last year uh, was able to get after it a little bit in the quarterback uh, arena and as well as set the tone in the running game Asezi Otomehu coming out of Minnesota you know I think he's going to be one of the best edge uh, the best run defenders uh, down the line on the team I think he's going to be a guy that you can develop in terms of pass rushing as well Patrick Jones uh, I think it was kind of one of those things where they are in a position that they're going to have to put this guy on the field at some point you know, I think he's got probably at least arguably one of the best get offs uh, on the team. Uh, and I believe that's according to uh, uh, what is it? Vikings uh, defensive line coach. Is it Chris Rumpf? I can't remember who's the Vikings D line coach. But at the end of the day, you know, I, I really feel like they are going to be a solid team. Uh, just an all. Uh, yeah, it's Chris Rumpf. Excuse me. So, you know. I think Chris Rumpf, you know, kind of talked a little bit about him having one of the better get-offs uh, in the entire, on the entire team. You also talk about, uh, you know, I, no, it was Mike Smith. It was Mike Smith. I apologize. But the point is, you know, you've got all these guys that are going to play, you know, on the edge that could play uh, as in the five tech as well. But overall, I think from an interior pressure, people need to keep in mind, you know, the different players that the Vikings will have and will bring uh, in terms of that pressure type of things that you're going to bring to that defense. Again, Jalen Twyman coming back. Everybody's sleeping on this guy. I am so excited to get Jalen Twyman in, uh, on this defense. Let him just wreak havoc. I mean, what did he have, like 10 and a half sacks his sophomore year at Pitt? Uh, you know, I'm really excited about his versatility as well. You know, and again, the edge pieces are going to be another thing. But again, you've got so, so much of this size, so much of these guys. James Lynch, people forget too. He was one of the best three, four defensive linemen in all of college football a couple of years ago. Uh, I think he was what the was it the, the Pac-12 defensive player of the year. I can't remember what what division it was. Doesn't matter. The point is uh, that James Lynch and the rest of this defensive line they're going to get after it, uh, especially up the middle. And I think that's how you that's definitely how you create a lot of havoc. You help some of these uh, those edge guys out as well. I think that the the Vikings specifically the interior pressure or excuse me the interior defensive line for the Vikings is going to create a lot of pressure and set the tone for the Vikings defense defensively and I think that the Vikings will have a top-notch uh, interior defensive line but let us know what you guys think make sure you, make sure you guys like and subscribe down below leave a like and a comment it helps people find the show we greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get you guys are all truthfully awesome we love every single one of you uh, in the description down below check out all of our social media platforms also give us a like and a follow uh, on all of our social media platforms and give us a listen and sub on iTunes and finally if you have anything else you'd like us to cover send us an email at the sports BP at yahoo.com or put it in the comments section down below and we would love to cover it but let us know what you guys think about the minnesota vikings having a top notch interior defensive line